What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be watching episode 32 of Yu Yu Hakusho. The last episode was really, really weird. Like, I get that the dude uses the drunken fist technique and that he's like gonna move around like a drunk person, but like I really wasn't expecting it to be as bizarre as it was. Like Yusuke and, and this Chu guy, like all they do was like shoot each other with these spirit uh, energy bombs like the spirit gun and whatever the other guy's technique is called and then like they miraculously lost their shirts they're just punching each other like crazy madmen like what is going on i thought this fight would be like way more hype than the one with Hiei and zero but so far i'm not as impressed like it's still pretty entertaining but it's really 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 weird so I'm gonna keep watching this fight and see what happens to determine whether or not I liked it or not, but uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna get right into it Ooh Let's do this with a knife edge death match a knife edge death match death Is he gonna give him one of the knives? This should be bloody. A knife edge death match, huh? What is that per se? I may have gotten into more than my fair share of street fights in my time, but I've never heard of anything like that before. But if I had to guess, I'd say it involves a match to the death with those knives. Wow. What on earth is happening now? I would have never put that together. Keep on going at it until it's all over. But they'll kill each other, Suzuru. Why can't they just stop fighting and call it a draw? Haven't they shed enough of each other's blood yet? Haven't they? No, it's not the point of this tournament. So they'll never be satisfied until they know which one wields a bigger knife. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that. This opportunity to remind everyone that no weapon is off limits. The edge of that knife is the edge of your world. That's the only rule of a knife edge death match. You don't step outside that line. If you do, it's sudden death. And I mean death, and we fight with our bodies, no weapons. The winner is the last blow standing. Do you think that you can handle that? So they have to stay right there? They can't move? Is that what they mean by that? We have a reputable tournament committee that gets paid to do that. What should I do? Oh, nothing. Is your gang... Have your esteemed colleagues arrived at their destination yet, Tagore? I have no idea, Mr. Sakio. What is he up to? That's mo the most concerning thing so far of this episode. Everybody, please remain calm. I promise you'll see people torn limb from limb soon enough if you'll just keep the peace. I'm with the crowd. Let's get on. Come on. Man, they are dragging this out. Like, come on, let's go. Just another minute, wait for it. There better be something spectacular happening when they when they allow this. Okay, let's go. What are all these people up there up to? That's what I really want to know. The people who are like the big wigs, the big uh, crime syndicates. Absolutely nobody beyond this point without a security pass. Oh, who is this? Don't take another step. Who is this? Uh, 
Oh, this doesn't look good. Please, Karasu. You've got a long while until it's your time to fight. I heard there was a fighter that might actually be worth my time. You mean Urameshi? Ooh. I to see what all the fuss was about. That's him fighting down there now. So I've been watching. And what do you think? Man, they really want to see Yusuke get beat. He has become somewhat of a demon slayer. I'm sure. Whoa, was that Sakio? Where are you taking me? It was. Come on. Hmm. Let me guess. Human? Yes, but remember that down here we're in the minority, so be careful. True. Why did he help her? That's interesting. The Taguro brothers are no joke. Definitely still get killed by Chu. Besides, winning this fight is only his first step. Taking on that guy again. What? I'm not really supposed That's the fight I want to see. But an honest to goodness rematch with Taguro is the only reason we came here to fight. Oh, but you has to fight Taguro again. And more than that, he wants to. You see, Kiko, it's our only chance to settle this. Then and only then we'll know who's stronger than who. And that is why I owe it I can respect that. That's very, like, Goku-like. Damn, look at those shots. That's awesome. Damn. I gotta hand it to him, though. Like, his determination and his will to to prove himself and... They're both standing on their last legs. It's almost all over. The weaker one will crumble soon. And fulfill what he said he would do is just fantastic. Yeah, a headbutt? Ooh. Ah. Uh. One. Yusuke did it. Two. Ten. All right. He got him. Did he kill him, though? I don't think he killed him. That was incredible, Yubeki. Hey, man, how you holding up? 
I wouldn't call it incredible, but it was pretty cool. Oh, he's up. They did agree. Now nah, we'll fight again when you're better. <laughs> you ripper. It's been a dead set on it, Yuvameshi. Likewise, pal. <sighs> okay. I won't I don't mind seeing a, a rematch. I wonder if we'll get one. Oh boy. You never answered my question, Karasu. Is he worth your time? We'll be facing off against him soon. Only if he keeps on winning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They watched. <laughs> Use K may be flippant now, but things are about to get very serious for his team with the Takuro brothers looming over. And who is the mysterious Karasu by their side? All right, not a bad end to that. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, ended with a headbutt. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool how, like, they're already talking about having their rematch to the death instead of having Yusuke finish him off right here and now. Um, a lot of concerning things happen in the background of this episode, though. Like, what is Sakio up to? Why was he helping Kulabara's sister? Who is this Karasu person? And, like, how strong is he? Because you saw how quickly he destroyed those, like, guards for the, uh, for the, uh, that were guarding where all of the, um, crime syndicates are. Yeah, uh, overall, I enjoyed this fight. I thought the fight with, uh, Hiei and Zero was a lot more hype, but this one was pretty deep. Uh, especially in this episode compared to the last episode. Like, we got a lot of insight into why Yusuke is, you know, doing this and... And, you know, him wanting to have his rematch against the Taguro brothers and and pr basically his drive and, and wanting to be stronger than them and, and protect those he cares about. It's just, it's just great character development with him. You know, one thing after the next, Yusuke is just becoming one of my all-time favorite characters in, in any show that I've ever seen. Him and Kuwabara, actually. Uh, I, I overall enjoyed this episode quite a bit, and I can't wait to see where this tournament goes, especially against Tagoro and this Karasu person. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments section, and uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.